welcome guys to another episode i'm dkml in here and today again we're gonna play some seven days oh not seven days some uh, the long dark uh before we start the video like 100 percent you can see that i'm in the menu or in the stop screen and that's simply because i want to tell you that there was a small problem earlier today while i was recording the seventh episode so this is kind of the eighth episode or day seven uh, day eight there was a simple problem when i recorded the seventh episode i tried out some new software what happened was that the file that came out of the recording was gigantic uh, unlike so many other of the of the recordings this this thing from the uh, I need to turn that off that's the second time under a recording the problem was that on the last recording was that the file was 67.5 gigabytes uh, large that was the size of it 67.5 gigabytes that's a really huge amount that video alone would take me literally four days to upload, so I kind of turn, I kind of just said no to that, and had to scrap an entire day uh, in this game. But I'm going to tell you quickly what's happened. I just went to the forge, collected a little amount of meat, ate that. While I was at the forge, cooked it, ate it some more, and forged ten uh, I, I forged arrow arrowheads ten times, which means I got. 21 arrows, arrowheads, uh, and then I, uh, how to say, it, harvested from a broken arrow that I collected, which means now I have 21 arrowheads, and now I'm starting to get ready to actually leave this part of the map. Even when I get all my arrows done and so on, I will going to have 22 arrows, which is a lot of arrows. 22 arrows is small enough to survive because I always have a really really good chance of collecting the arrows again that I lose or that I shoot with. The only reason for me not collect being able to collect an arrow again is if my prey lies on the side where I hit it with the arrow or that I miss and make the arrow fly really really fast away. So let's just start up as it is. First thing I already need to do is pick up my sleeping bag. I need that. Also, some of this stuff is now fixed. I can repair it on with it. I really need to take this stuff with me. I'm not gonna take it all with me. Just the most essential stuff. I oh yeah, I didn't have a rabbit. I thought I had some rabbit skin, but I don't. I'm gonna leave a sleeping bag here because honestly I already accepted that I can't take everything I want with me. Because honestly that would be a really really large amount of stuff I would be able to take with me. And since I, I did the... Uh, how, how can I say... the, the cock up last in the last episode. I won't be cutting that much in this one. Uh, the hammer I don't need with me. I only need that when I do forge stuff. So I'm not going to bring that. I'm not going to bring that bedroll hatchet. I'm going to bring this. Is I'm going to bring. Um, I need to bring a lot of medical supplies. Look, I already have a problem with weight, and that's not good. Antibiotics. Haven't really been needing to use that yet, but I can never be too careful. Good rubbing alcohol. Food. I need to bring food, otherwise I won't survive another day. Of course, I'll eat some food now, um, so I am stocked up on food. But I also need to fix water. As you guys see, I have 21 arrow uh, arrowheads, and I got one simple arrow ready. I also have still have six bullets in my rifle, which is really really good. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, I almost forgot this. If I don't have my rifle cleaning kit, I'll probably find one, but then at least I will have one less thing to think about. Uh, my pri I'll probably find a prior line at the pla place I think about making a base. I have tools with me, I have... Yeah, okay. There's nothing over here. 
I already searched this area in the last episode, so right now I just need to throw all the stuff that I really want with me. I'm not going to leave the herbal tea. I need that stuff. Uh, it, it seems a little um, un... Uh, like, uh, I don't need it. But I actually do. I actually do need it. Okay, let's eat this. Crack it open. Ra ra. Like a real caveman just cracking it open with a hatchet. And drinking some conserved milk. Now... The really, really important part is my way of getting away from here. Because as we both, uh, as we both, as we all know, there's a lot of wolves in this area. And I've actually chosen a bit of a bad timing. Last, uh, the uh, the day we just come from, what the, yeah, sorry for me, I'm jumpy a little when I hear crows moving around. Because they tell me a lot. For example, they tell me there's a predator nearby and I need to be really, really careful. If I'm not careful, I'll get my ass kicked. Literally. I'll have a bear or a wolf right on me and that's no fun. And right now I'm just being real careful because I don't want to get into a bear fight or a wolf fight right now. Yeah, that I don't need. Remember me talking about them driving around the circle is to show corpse. In this case, I already know it's deer corpse. I could be so brave to say that there is a shortcut in this, but there ain't. I need to get to almost the end of the, uh, the area where their mine is, the mine entrance on this side of the map is. And then move up a small creek where I have a chance of meeting a b uh, wolf. Sadly in this area I have a really high chance of meeting wolves and I really don't want to meet wolves right now. Because honestly they're a pain in the, f in the butt. <laughs> I was about to swear there. Um, but yeah guys, I'm sorry about missing an entire day for you guys. I really hoped I could do something, but I really can't. The a problem, but also a charm about this game is, as soon as you sleep, it overwrites your old save file. So it means that I can't. It simply means that I can't just. If I die, I can go back. If I die, I die, and that's just how the game is. And then I simply need to start up a new series okay that I don't need to fear that's that's a deer I can hear it on this trampling trampling the way it trembles that it is just a deer so but I'm a little afraid if it's me it's running away from or if it is a wolf I don't like there but being like a lot of birds here I can't see anything literally I am I just want to go from here for the mine that you guys are gonna see my general idea was that we were going to cut off at the mine, but since I did a done goof with the old, the other episode, uh, the seventh day, I'm just going to take you guys through the mine. Already been in this one, if I remember correctly. You probably aren't going to hear me talk a lot because I also need to concentrate, and it's a bit hard for me always hearing myself while. I also need to listen to the game. Yeah. We're almost at the mine, guys. Almost at the mine. Yeah. I have enough to run if... If anything should happen. <sighs> this stuff, this moss, I could use, but I'm not going to use it. It's if I want to make my own bandages. I like the... Uh, Stuff you see at the crafting table. The old man something bandages. So yeah, now we're really close to the mine entrance now. That over there is... Actually right down here is... The road. I th no, this is actually a closed off area. If you, you can't go down there, you'll just die. You'll fall to your death. Now, leave this lacing point. I really want to get away from here. There's not a lot loot anymore. As, oh yeah. A bullet. 
I always remember there's a lot of stuff around here. I always forget that, to be honest. There's also a lot of coal. I don't use coal. Uh, I, I don't want that with me. It said it's suitable, suitable for... I've been looking for this. Seriously, it's been so close. But like for the hammer, I'm not going to bring it. I, I at least have found some food now that I can eat pronto. But the problem with me and a hammer is simply that the problem with a hammer is that it's big clunky tool that I can only use for one thing as soon as as long as I'm not at <laughs> not gonna break that. Uh, as, as soon as I'm not at the forge it's useless for me. I can use it to break up crates, but that's it. This actually could look like something they're gonna open later for a new section or a new map or area. When I talk about maps, I mean like desolation point is a map, the area we're going to is a small map uh, that I always call it the uh, collapsed highway, but that's because I didn't remember that uh, area. I think it's called the collapsed highway. And then that's a really small map. And then from that uh, map I can go to a new map that is my ah, come on that is my favorite map which is the coastal highway and coastal highway is my favorite map because of its it's being so open there's not a huge amount of hills or a big downward where like there was with desolation point so let's just check around here Oh, water, I could use that. Okay, nope. Mm, nope. Instead of just left clicking, I just right click on the stuff I don't want with me because honestly, I can't take everything with me because my character also gets tired and then I can't run and I really want to run if I get attacked by a pack of wolves. Or if it gets too late and I don't want to be outside in the dark. Especially on this game mode. Like all of this, for example here, this just makes me feel like they're going to build onto this area. It's not criticism, it's actually me being really happy about the developer thing like Oh yeah, we, we can actually make this mine into a multi-section area where you can actually go to new places just through this one mine. Because so far this mine goes to one place. And it's a really long mine already, as you guys see. I'm actually almost at the end, but it took me like, what? Three minutes to get through it? I'm not 100% sure, but I think it took me three minutes to get through, and I've been running and really speed looting through this mine. As soon as we get up here, I really hope there's better weather on the other side, otherwise I'm going to wait here for a little while for it to clear up, because I don't want it to be foggy where we're going. Because the upcoming area is a really hated area of mine. Because it's really bulgy and there's a lot of stuff there. Nope, I don't want that goddamn tools with me. Trust me, if I didn't have tools already, I would use them. Well, I would, I would take them with me. Let's see here. Gotta eat that because that attracts. So does this one. Okay. Let's see here. We can take away some of the heaviness by refueling this one. You guys would probably be like, what? You just refuel it? Well, the more you refuel stuff, the less stuff I need to carry. The, this thing will decrease in weight the more I start. I really hope I could throw this into this because honestly, it's both kerosene. Oh yeah, yeah, kerosene. It's both kerosene, aka gasoline. If I remember correctly, don't, don't, don't hate me on that one if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm really thinking like the spare stuff. Do I really need it? But also, I don't want to throw it away because it's it's what it's it's good. F it's maybe about halfway. It takes twelve days. Okay, let's get ready. Last time I was here, I met a wolf. So. Ah, uh, cross your fingers and hope not to die. 
but at least it's cleared up here. If I see a wolf, I'll actually just shoot at it and leave it because I really don't want to have a fight with one right now. I remember there being bunnies here. Well, yeah, that's where we came from. That's the collapsed area. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, I'm getting paranoid here. I'm starting to get a little frightened. Cause I, yeah, road collapse, that's why I call this a uh, collapsed highway. I think actually it has a different name. But I keep on forgetting it. I'm actually shaking, like, I'm happy about me having such a steady hand. Otherwise, you guys would see the camera just shaking. shit. I don't like there being a den, a uh, uh, cave, and then a, a dead deer. It actually makes me a little paranoid. Even more paranoid. Oh, my character's starting to get tired. I know right up here there's a couple of houses. I'm also pressing my character just to move on because I'm really in front of this area because it's so closed off in so many places that an animal could actually sneak up on me without even even a bear could sneak up on me in this in this map. Of course, this is evidence they can't use for anything. Yeah. This was the basement I was talking about. I'm gonna make camp for here tonight. I'll start recording right away after this one. And if I can, throw it up just after I upload this one. It all depends on so much, to be honest. It depends on how much time it's gonna take me to upload. Of course, this is actually a pretty good spot for an outpost. Uh, not a lot of loot here. There's little. But at least it has some good potential. <laughs> a flea sweater. No, not gonna bring that. Wolf socks, no. The good thing about this place is that it is so open as it is. Uh, well it, it, that it's an a area that's actually okay for storing loot. Like, look. 30 kilos, kil kilogram, kilograms, that's the same amount as I can have on me. All my loot can be in this little dryer. But I really need to get some sleep in this game now. Uh, even my, yeah, he won't even allow me to run now. He's getting really exhausted, so I, I can't even run anymore. Just going to make him eat something. I'm going to use the knife. It's It's better at opening. I can, I know I only know that if you smash it like smash the can that you lose food, but I don't think you will let's just turn this off. Because there's an okay light in here. I don't know if you tr if you smash something with like a can, you only sm if you smash it that's the only time you'll lose food. But that's also I don't think you lose it with a uh, hatchet or at yeah, don't worry guys, that's just much here. I don't think you'll lose any food if you do it with a hatchet or knife. I haven't tried that yet. At least. I always get the exact same number as it says. Yeah, okay. Um, actually also something I didn't tell you guys at the start. Down here, there's this stuff. You start a fire. I can start a fire inside, of course. But I always forgot to, I forgot to tell you guys that. That's a really handy thing when you're outside. Like, you guys, I'm just going to post this. 
if you guys think you can't survive outside and you always need to be inside to have a warm source of, or some, something to warm you up, that's not true. Have a campfire inside an, an abandoned, burned down barn. There's a lot of them. A bear or wolf won't be able to get you in there because you actually yourself need to crouch to even get in there. So animals can't get in there and the wind can't get in there. So you're, but if you put in down a fire in an open area, it can, if they come to pleasure or anything, you will, your fire source will burn out. So yeah. But now I've put down my bed here, ready to go to bed. I have my rifle all lo uh, loaded. And I'm actually going to record just after I, after I uh, save this one. So I already have a one for the next day. So, see you guys in the next time. I hope you enjoy it. As always, this is the Chameleon playing The Long Dark. We hit our, we hit our point uh, in the last recording that I didn't throw up because of the size of it. But we can still celebrate a little like yay. So, but always throw a like, subscribe. And leave a comment about what you guys think, if there's anything I should do better, as always. So, guys, see you in the next time. Bye-bye.